just clap real quick? I got a clapper right here, baby. <laughs> Gotta use the clapboard. It's illegal not to use the clapboard. Adam here from the Out of Collective, and today we're gonna talk about the all new Fisher Ranger 96. So a couple things are new for the ski for 2022, 2023. One, uh, everything, like everything's changed. So it's a totally new ski line. Uh, they've mixed it with the Ranger Free line. So now Ranger is, uh, is the only option. So Pink Ski Gang is a thing of the past. Uh, and now we have this all new Ranger series. Uh, so this year, Fisher decided to put a big focus on sustainability. Obviously, that's very important to some people. Um, for one, these skis are made with 25% recycled steel edges. Uh, for the full action list of items that they did for sustainability, uh, you can go to Fisher's website and they have like every little tidbit. It's also labeled nicely on the back of every ski, which is what I'm reading off of right now. I think sustainability is super important. And I believe that pretty much everybody watching this would agree with me. However, none of it means anything if the ski ski bad. So let's talk about how the ski actually performs. So when it comes to performance on this ski, 96 underfoot, two sheets of metal through the Shape TI section. Shape TI, in case you were wondering while we're talking about it, um, we'll cut this some B-roll and you'll get to see it up close, but this is all Shape TI. And what it does for you is it adds torsional stability through the midsection, plus a little bit further down the length of the ski. Um, torsional stability adds to your ability to go high speed. It adds to the ski's dampness, basically. Um, and it adds to, well, metal in general will add to the ski's dampness, but torsional rigidity is what's gonna make that ski feel like it's not super floppy, even when it's fun and playful uh, like this ski is. So, uh, back to construction, two sheets of metal through that section, wood core tip and tail. Obviously the ski throughout is a wood core ski. Um, but just having wood tip and tail makes the ski soft, more playful, kind of like that Ranger FR feel where you're like, this could be my park ski if I really, really wanted to. Uh, you could take this thing in the jumps, in the trees, it's an all mountain ripper. This is really, I hate one ski quiver and it's a lazy way to explain anything, but this, especially in New England, is a great option for an everyday ski. Most people ski skis like a Nordica Enforcer, a Blizzard Brahma, uh, vocal kendo and they really don't need that much metal in their ski this is more for like the average consumer where you're like i want to ski that charges i want to be able to go ski with my friends but i want to have a good time right like i don't want to be forced to ski a ski that's skiing me all day um, and i think that's kind of what fisher has to offer in the new ranger line i know a lot of people had kind of had comments like oh it was soft i felt like it was not the same as a traditional fisher ski it's not and for years, all anybody did was complain about a Fisher ski being too stiff, too aggressive. And now they make one that's fun and soft and enjoyable to ski on on a regular basis. People have something to say about it. So uh, in my opinion, this has been a phenomenal new product, phenomenal, phenomenal new line across the board. Um, the 96 is going to be what I ski on quite a bit. The 102 is also going to be a popular option for a lot of people. They make them all the way down to a 90 um, and they make them all the way up to, I think it's a 116. So for those real powder days. Uh, they have an option for you. A couple quick things, um, just when it comes to spec, 17 meter radius, which you'll see a lot of the skis in this category have, tight enough to do short, quick, fallen turns, but also big enough that you can really charge on this thing. For reference, I'm skiing this in a 183, uh, and I'm six foot, 220. Um, that's the size that I like to ski in New England. One thing I would like to see them do a little bit better on the ski is offer more size ranges. Um, I feel like it's a little limited and it does ski short because of that tip profile. Because it skis short, people will be inclined to go up a size. To me, I think you go with the size that you normally would go with. And at least if you're getting the opportunity to demo it, go out, try it in a couple different size ranges and see what you think. Because I think the recommendation is gonna change based on what width you pick. For this one in particular, I think 183 is fine for me. You know, I think it fits, it fits great, or 182, whatever it is. Um, I think it fits fine for me. Like I have no issue, even though I'm six foot, it doesn't feel too short. Um, for some reason, the 183 on the Ranger 102 feels short. Um, so I think it's gonna be person to person, um, style to style. Um, very much anybody can ski on this ski. So you're not gonna be limited in terms of how much metal is in it. 
weight is not as much of a determining factor as it was in a lot of the skis previous, like the old Ranger was so stiff that if you were under 150 pounds, probably wasn't the ski for you. On this thing, you can take it wherever you want, whenever you want, um, and in pretty much any condition and feel like you have the right tool for the job. So uh, all in all, I'm a huge fan of the ski. Uh, if you're looking for a written review, check this thing out at www.outofpodcast.com. Uh, we have a link in the show notes and, uh, and let us know what you think. W-W-W. I like saying W-W-W. You always say it. I know. Always say W-W-W. Okay. Um, I'm going to pause here, Matt. This, an absolute priority uh, when they were building these skis, and that is your mom. Um, <laughs> I'm more biodegradable. Um, vegetable oil. You, 